And Pilate said, what is truth? Every time I hear the passion narrative, especially the rich, symbolically full passion according to John, which we have each Good Friday, it strikes me in different ways. And as I studied it this Holy Week and reflected on it, and prayed with it. The character with whom I identified, and in previous years I've identified with Peter, who denied our Lord three times before the cock crew. I've identified with the damsel who came out to see him. I've identified with the centurion. This year, I found myself identifying with Pilate. When he asks that question, what is truth? Never has a more profound question been asked at a more profound and solemn moment than that first Friday is T.S. Eliot says, which we call good. And we ask that question each Good Friday. And I ask you that question this Good Friday. What is truth? Harvard's motto, our own Yale not to be outdone, adds looks to Veritas. We see truth on bumper stickers and sweatshirts. We see it in every oath of every witness in every courtroom drama and every courtroom. We throw the word truth around almost as casually and frequently as we use the word love. What is truth? René Descartes, French philosopher, talked about our existence and one way that he had to prove that he exists was as phrased in Latin, cogito ergo sum, I think, therefore I am. Putting aside for a second the slightly self-centered nature of that, then again, what else can we do but observe our own thoughts? It feels like in our current society, we've turned that into something different. I see in popular culture, and maybe even in COVID culture, not cogito ergo sum, but deco ergo est, I say, therefore it is, or sensio ergo est, I feel, therefore it is. What is truth? It's what I say. What is truth? It's what I feel. That is sin. The road to hell is paved with that. What is truth? Whatever I say it is, whatever I feel it is. Whether we would say that out loud, so often we find ourselves living our lives that way. We see it throughout our culture. We see it in politics. We see it in popular culture. Look for it in your own actions. Look for it in your own attitudes. On that day, the 
mob that came before Pilate felt they had a corner on truth and they crucified Jesus. They took the Prince of Peace and beat him and killed him on a Roman cross. They, they took the King of Love and through their pettiness, hatred, jealousy, and venom, showered him with hate and death. What is truth? May we, through a cross, find truth. The cross whereon was hung the world's salvation, the cross which made sense of a senseless world, the cross which turned death into life, which turned the world upside down. We know the rest of the story, and we look forward to the third day, which I will not preach now, but will preach joyfully and thankfully on Sunday morning. And today I stand with you, I kneel with you, at the foot of the cross, whereon was hung the world's salvation. O come, let us worship. O come, let us find the truth. <laughs>